everybody, Jolt here from the Token Minorities, and I am bringing you another battle from our March Madness Wi-Fi tournament. Uh, this battle is the other losers bracket quarterfinal match between Luck of the Irish, Aiden, and Yellen de Grief, Sasuke, or Sasuke, I'm not really sure how to say that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be quite the match. I did get to battle both of these guys throughout the tournament, so that was definitely an honor. Both are very good battlers, and it is going to be quite the experience narrating their match in third person, and I have never seen this match before either, so this will be interesting. Um, but as far as the team preview, it looks like Aiden is going to be using a double Brave Bird team, the same team um, that he used against Vic, I believe, I uh, recall watching that match. And yeah, he's got a very solid team. I know he's a very impressive predictor, so he is going to be a hard one to knock out. Um, looks like he also will be running Mega Venusaur, which is going to be quite the problem to take down. Especially looking at Yellen de Grief's team, um, he really doesn't have much for Mega Venusaur. Latias could be a, a factor in taking it out if it runs Psy Shock. Uh, Tyranitar could take it out if it gets up a couple Dragon Dances. That it doesn't look like it's going to be a Dragon Dance Tyranitar though. Uh, maybe some U-turns from the Scizor will take it out. It's it's going to be a tough one. Um, it looks like Sasuke or Yellen de Grief is using a very offensive team. Um, he is running Scizor, Tyranitar, Latias, Mega Charizard, probably looks like Y, um, and then a Keldeo and a Landorus T. Um, looks like it's going to be going for a lot of switch initiative with the double U-turn on his team. Um, and it looks like we're going to have potentially a setup for a Charizard sweep. We will see how this goes. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into the battle. Alright, so here we are with the actual match. It appears that Yellen is going to be on our side, the close side, and Luck of the Irish is going to be on the opposing side. Uh, Yellen chooses to lead with his Landorus T, probably for some switch, initi switch initiative if he doesn't like the lead matchup, and Luck chooses to lead with his Mega Venusaur. He looks, looks like he is going to Mega Evolve his Mega Venusaur on the first turn, which is a smart play. Regular Venusaur with the Venusaur right doesn't have much merit. Um, so yeah, uh, Yellen U-turns out and goes into his Scizor to try to get some more U-turn shenanigans going, it looks like. While Luck goes for the Leech Seed on the first turn to try to suck a little bit of damage, or a little bit of health out of whatever Yellen wants to go into. Um, on the U-turn prediction, he goes into his Heatran, which is a very good play, able to scout the damage from the U-turn and determine that that Scizor is probably Choice Banded, uh, actually definitely Choice Banded if this is a, a defensive Heatran. So Yellen decides to U-turn right back into his Landorus T, which is a good play because he can scare out the Heatran with an Earthquake um, and potentially set up his Stealth Rocks on the turn where Heatran switches out. Uh, looks like Yellen, or, uh, Luck of the Irish wants to go into his Mega Venusaur, which is a good play again because Mega Venusaur is a solid check to any Landorus, even an offensive one. Um, and as such, Yellen is just going to U-turn right out. So it looks like just a lot of U-turn shenanigans going on early in the match from Yellen's end. And Luck of the Irish just trying to get his footing. So back comes Scizor and he misses another Leech Seed, which really sucks, it's too bad. But uh, Luck decides to go ahead and go for a synthesis on this turn just to get all that health back to make all those U-turn attempts futile. Um, so it really doesn't make much of a difference that U-turn's doing about 35, about 35% to that Mega Venusaur from the, uh, from the Scizor, so that's good. Um, so now <clears throat> Yellen chooses to bring out his Charizard and here is where I bet he will reveal which type of Charizard he is. And it looks like Yellen predicts his Charizard to be Charizard Y, and it turns out to be Charizard Y. So that was a very good uh, prediction by Luck of the Irish's part. Um, so yeah, the Mega Charizard Y sets up that Drought and goes for the Fire Blast on that switch and does a good amount of damage to Latias. Wow, Charizard Y is so powerful. That is uber material. I don't know why it's still an OU. Oh well, probably just because of that stealth rock weakness and it actually has some checks, but still Latias is very bulky and that's surprising that it's doing that much damage. So he switches out the Charizard Y and goes into his Tyranitar to set up the sand, probably to hinder Latias' recovery, but it looks like Luck of the Arch is going to pull a double switch into his Heatran. Now was that the play he intended to do? I guess we will find out. I don't think that is what he wanted, unless he is expecting the Tyranitar to be choiced and then he's going to go for a protected scout, but it doesn't look like that's what he's going to do. He's just going to switch out again into Star Raptor, predicting an Earthquake or Superpower. Um, and let's see, he goes for the superpower. That's going to do a lot of damage to the Star Raptor. Let's see what happens. It takes it right out. That is too bad for Luck of the Irish. 
that is definitely a choice band of Tyranitar. <laughs> that was that was strong. This is definitely choice, and he knows it's choice. He goes into Age of Slash, a very good play. Uh, forces the switch, and let's see what he does on that switch. It looks like uh, Lander's T is coming back in to try to intimidate the Age of Slash, and let's see if he goes for the Shadow Ball, which is the correct play. He does. Good job. The Shadow Ball is going to do a very large chunk to that Lander's. Um, it doesn't look like he's running very much HP investment. Maybe he is. I'm not really sure what the damage calc is for a Life Orb Shadow Ball from Aegis Slash on Landorus T, but it looks like it's doing a little bit more than it should be, at least for my defensive version of Landorus. But he switches out the Aegis Slash into Latias, which was something that apparently Yellen predicted. Just goes for the U-turn, takes out the Latias, and now Luck of the Irish is down in a hole early, and that is not good for him. But Yellen's making some great plays. He's getting that switch initiative going left and right with all those U-turns. And really, Tyranitar is just cleaning up whenever he needs to. So he brings in Aegislash against Tyranitar. He goes for the King Shield to scout. So he definitely knows that Tyranitar is choice at this point. And uh, looks like Tyranitar went for the crunch on that turn. I looked up at the wrong time and didn't see it. But I think he went for crunch. And yes, he did. And after that King Shield and minus two attack, it is not going to be able to take out the Aegislash. And Aegislash is going to fire back with a Sacred Sword. And down will go Tyranitar. So now the score is 5-4 to four in Yellen's favor. That critical hit did not matter whatsoever. But Luck of the Irish is in a little bit of a pickle with not much HP left on his Aegislash. So Yellen chooses to go into his Keldeo here. Another very good play to take the Shadow Sneak. It is, I uh, believe, Intimidate Reduced minus one, I think. Maybe not. I might be wrong on that. But regardless, it does a good amount of damage to Keldeo. But Keldeo is able to... Well, make him die to life orb and then hit nothing with a scald. So that is a 5 to 3 advantage for Yellen. Luck decides to go into his Mega Venusaur here, which is another good play, as Mega Venusaur is a perfect counter to Keldeo. Um, most likely just going to go for a synthesis here, predicting Scizor. That's exactly what he does. Um, Scizor is no doubt just going to U turn again here, probably into the Lander's T to just continue all of those shenanigans that have been uh, occurring between Scizor and Lander's T. Um, Yellen just decides to, or uh, sorry, Luck just decides to go for a Giga Drain to get a little more damage on the Scizor, which is a very decent play. Uh, might, well, might have been good to see a Sleep Powder if he had it on that play, but maybe he didn't run Sleep Powder. So Yellen decides to go into his Mega Charizard Y and double switch into Lander's T. What is he predicting? Let's find out. He gets off the Intimidate on the Mega Venusaur, and Mega Venusaur stays right in there and goes for the Synthesis. So that did not work out very well for Yellen. Uh, must have been predicting a switch into something else. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't work out for him, and Luck is able to get all of his health back on that bulky Mega Venusaur. Yellen decides to U-turn right out yet again on the Venusaur and go into Visceron. That is his Charizard Y. He takes the Leech Seed. Finally, <laughs> Luck connects on a Leech Seed, so that's helpful. Get a little bit... I guess he doesn't need the health back right now, but he can suck off some uh, damage on that Charizard Y, which is always a good thing to have happen. Um, and Yellen does not want Charizard to take any unnecessary damage. He goes right back into Landorus T yet again. Must be making the same prediction that he made last time. Let's see if it works out for him. I would assume the Heatran's coming in, and that's exactly what happens. So, Yellen was predicting that Heatran all along, and now he's in a very nice position. He's able to go for a free Earthquake. I don't even know if, uh, if uh, Luck has anything to take the Earthquake at this point. He already lost his Latias. Um, I don't recall if he had any other Levitators or Flying types on his team. Uh, let's see if he does. No, he just has the Venusaur. So Venusaur is going to take a heavy Earthquake from, I believe, a max attack lander is because of how much damage this is doing and how offensive this team appears to be. So that's a, uh, wow, a substantial 40% damage, maybe 45% on that Mega Venusaur. That proves that this is probably a calm Mega Venusaur, if the U-turn uh, from Sizzler didn't already prove that. Um, so two Earthquakes is going to bring Venusaur down very low. Um, luckily, he does hang on and is able to get off that synthesis to try to stall out a few more turns because that's all Mega Venusaur does. It's stall. I hate Mega Venusaur, but uh, I guess it's working out for luck, so I'm not going to knock him on that. But um, yeah, he decides it's not a good idea to keep earthquaking because he can just keep synthesizing all the damage back. So he turns out into his, mech, his uh, Choice Bandit Scizor to take the Giga Drain. Um, so that's pretty good for Yellen because now he's able to get off a powerful U-turn on the Scizor, although Venusaur does outspeed. So I spoke a little too soon. Venusaur is able to get most of his health back. And it appears that Yellen's having a little bit of trouble uh, getting rid of this Mega Venusaur. 
But then again, so does anyone else who's ever played in Gen 6, ever. Um, so he U-turns into his Charizard Y. Uh, I guess just trying to go for a fire move on it this time, and uh, Luck decides to predict that and go into Heat Train yet again, thinking that Yellen probably will not pull that double switch again into Lander's T, and it turns out to be the case as Heat Train is able to pull off that flash fire boost. So that is beautiful for Luck of the Irish. Now he's able to probably fire off a powerful Lava Plume on the Lander's switch in. Uh, no, he goes into Keldeo, that's a safer play, of course. Um, and he just goes for Stealth Rock, interesting. So he really wants to get those rocks up, knowing that Yellen apparently uh, has not shown a Defogger, although I believe he does have a Latias on his team, so he might be able to bring out the Latias and Defog that away whenever he chooses. Uh, Luck decides to go into Mega Venusaur here, which makes sense. That's a very good switch into Keldeo yet again. It's going to be able to take that Secret, or secret Sword with ease. Uh, only takes about 20%. Uh, from that, so no big deal. No doubt just going to go for that synthesis on this turn because he's able to get back 75% health because of the sun being up. Uh, very nice little addition for Luck on that turn, especially because Mega Venusaur is clearly his most important component of his team at this point in the match. The sun fades, so that's too bad for Venusaur. He's not able to get that 75% recovery from synthesis, synthesis anymore. And he just switches into Heatran to take the, uh, I guess the Defog, doesn't really matter. He just goes for a Draco Meteor on this turn. Um, so that's not going, going to do much damage at all to the Heatran. That He's just going to eat that up, take, mm, what, 20%? Hello, Heatran is so bulky. Uh, Latias is no doubt EV'd in special attack if it, would, if it was able to do as much as it did. Um, a defensive Latias, even with Life Orb, would probably only do about 15%, 10% maybe to the Heatran, especially if it's max special defense, Heatran. Now Yellen switches into Keldeo, which apparently was something that Luck predicted. He just goes for the Roar to uh, get his team shuffling around a little bit, and he brings in the Scizor, which is great for Luck of the Irish because he's able to fire off a Lava Plume, and I assume he will do that on this turn because he does have the chance of a free burn, and I don't know why the heck he wouldn't go for the free burn on something. Um, even though Keldeo is no doubt coming right back in. Let's just see what happens. He goes for the Roar again. Okay, maybe he... Is he not running Lava Plume? Maybe he's just terrified of the Keldeo. That makes sense, too. Um, so he brings in the Charizard, which is beautiful because of all that Stealth Rock damage. Here I anticipate, if Yellen has Roost on Charizard Y, that he will go for the Roost. Um, because he's going to faint on re-entry to Stealth Rocks if he doesn't have Roost. Um, it turns out he does have Roost, and he goes for it right there. And he's able to get back most of his health on that turn. Um, oh, he predicted that. He goes for the Earth Power on that turn. Very good prediction on Luck of the Irish's part. Uh, and he's actually able to get a special defense drop as well. So he is going to pressure that Charizard Y. And he's just going to, like, Yellen is going to switch right out of there just in case. That's a very good play. Um, so he goes ahead into Landorus T to intimidate the, the uh, Heatran. I guess predicting the Earth Power again, but he predicted that too. Wow, Luck of the Irish is playing well right now. Just goes for the Roar. Unfortunately, he roars in the Keldeo, so that is too bad for him. That puts him in a really tough situation. He's going to have to switch out, probably, definitely, into Mega Venusaur. Uh, let's see if Yellen predicts that this time, shall we? It appears that Yellen is just going to go for the Skull to try to get the burn on Mega Venusaur. Interesting play. And let's see if it works out for him. It does. Now, Luck of the Irish is in a very tough situation. The residual damage on Venusaur, Mega Venusaur that is, is never a good thing because it doesn't have anything to get rid of statuses. At least it usually doesn't run that. I wouldn't be surprised if it has aromatherapy in its potential move pool. I'm not sure. But no one ever runs that anyways. So he just has to rely on synthesis. Now predicting the U-turn from, from the uh, Choice Man of Scizor, he just goes into his Heatran. Um, I guess it was on a double switch, so maybe predicted the Scizor to come in. That's a very nice play too, wow. Um, yeah, I'm very impressed with these two battlers in this match. But it looks like, ooh, wow, Yellen just lets his Scizor go down to the Lava Plume. Maybe he was thinking that Luck did not have the Lava Plume because he had not used it yet. But I think Luck of the Irish was just toying with him that whole time to try to get that Scizor in a position where he can take it out with a Lava Plume. And he does just that. So now I believe the score is about 4-3, to three, roughly, in Yellen's favor. I may have lost count there because the battle really is intense. Um, but the Mega Venusaur is burned. It's not going to be taking those U-turns and Earthquakes very well. It might just go down here. The Landers T goes for the Earthquake. It does not quite put it in range for Burn to take it out, but it is very close. And the subsequent U-turn will take it out if he chooses to leave in Venusaur, which he should at this point. He just goes for the Earthquake instead to stay in, get a little more leftovers recovery if he needs it. Um, and Mega Venusaur goes down. Is not looking good for our hero, Luck of the Irish. Uh, 
So the Landers T gains a little more health. It's at about 50% right now. And now Luck decides that it's time to bring in his ace in the hole, the Talon Flame. Choice ban of Talon Flame, which was what caused Vic to be eliminated from the tournament. In the loser's bracket, the choice banded Brave Birds, he actually uses his Charizard Y as switch fodder to see, to scout what move the choice banded Talonflame is going to lock himself into. Turns out it is that Brave Bird, um, so he goes into Lander's T to get off that Intimidate to try to lessen the damage from the Brave Bird, but Lander's T is not going to survive a choice banded Brave Bird at that amount, even at minus one. So the Landers goes down and now it's getting really tight. I believe it's either 2-1 or 2-2 at this point. He goes into his Latias to try to, uh, I guess, get more recoil damage on the Talonflame um, due to the Brave Bird. And let's just see how much it does, shall we? It looks like, oh wow, Latias hang, uh, hangs on with 14 HP, goes for the Thunderbolt, takes out the Talonflame. Wow, that was close. Now, that Latias is life orb, correct? So that should go down as well. This might be down to 1-1, folks. I'm not really sure. It's either 2-1 or 1-1 at this point. And it is tight. Aiden goes into his Heatran. The last line of defense. And, ooh, and Yellen has the Keldeo remaining. So that will be the game. Oh, man. That was a really good match between these guys. Keldeo just goes for the Secret Sword, which will eliminate the Heatran as it does hit on the physical side rather than the special side. So that is it. Wow. <laughs> Very good game between these two. So this means that uh, Yellen de Grief advances into the loser's bracket semifinals to face me. Um, that will be the match for fourth place. The loser of that match gets fourth place in the tournament. And the winner of that match will advance to have a chance to uh, get to the championship game. So the loser of the match after me versus Yellen will get third place. And then we'll have the championship max, uh, match after that. So, yeah, stay tuned for all these battles throughout the week. And we hope that they are all as exciting as this one because this was very impressive. And also, let me know how I did. This was my first third-person narration. So I'd really appreciate some feedback um, as to... And what I can improve on and etc. So yeah, good job to both Aiden and Sasuke. Very good match. And yeah, we will see you all later. Wah Buffett. Bye guys.